I've talked about a few interesting planets before, like 55 Cancri E, thought to contain a large amount of diamond, Kepler 452b, one of the most Earth-like planets we've found, and even the electromagnetic vibrations coming from planet Saturn that have been converted into sound waves for us to hear. But year after year, more and more planets are discovered within the observable universe. Now, I'm not necessarily talking about planets that could potentially support life, although they are very interesting. I'm also talking about planets that simply define our definition of possible, like an almost black, lightless planet, to one we are all familiar with, yet overlook hugely. Here are just a handful of the truly fascinating planets we have so far discovered in space, some of which in fact, hold many mysteries. As always, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. While Earth may be known as the Blue Planet, there is one planet out there that puts us to shame, Gliese 1214b. It's six times the size of Earth, with a gravitational pull just under ours, and it's come to be known as the Water World, thanks to its amazing, yet mysterious properties. Discovered in 2009, and residing 42 light years away from our own planet, in the constellation Ophiuchus, astronomers were amazed when they realised that the planet seems to have an incredibly water-based atmosphere, much richer than our own. As you will know, this stirs many questions, since the presence of water is needed for life as we know it. But this is where Gliese 1214b's unusuality comes in. You see, the water present on the planet is unlike anything you would encounter on Earth. Due to the temperatures, water cannot exist in the form of a liquid, solid, or gas. Instead, the water world is rich in plasma, a state of matter caused by intense heat. So, although water as we know it is not present on the surface of the planet, leading many experts to agree life on its surface is unlikely, it would appear that water vapour could exist higher up in the planet's atmosphere in the form of clouds. And this could be an environment for life, as is the case with Earth. There is also some interesting discussion about this planet, as some have theorised that since it is so close to its own sun, causing the intense heat, it could have a dark side that never faces the heat blast and is in fact frozen, as opposed to its plasma-filled other half. This would mean there would be an in-between point where water is present. The fact of the matter is, we know very little about this planet, because as you can imagine, simply studying something by observation means there is often a lot of guesswork and inaccuracies. And since the universe is full of mysteries that cannot all be studied due to their distance from us, Gliese 1241b is just another planet to be added to the universe's wonders. Planet 9 Since 2004, astronomers and scientists have been noticing some strange occurrences in our portion of the galaxy. Debris in Neptune's Kyber Belt, which is the cloud of ice bodies that orbits past Neptune, was recorded moving in what seems like a uniformed manner the intensity of which caused the question, what is causing these to move in such a pattern? Their orbits must be getting manipulated by another hidden planet. But as far as we know, there are only eight planets in our solar system, since Pluto has been reclassified as a dwarf planet. Well, that is the mystery. If this is another, much larger planet causing this shift, that would mean that our solar system does contain another planet. However, there is a problem. Its existence is entirely hypothetical, as it has not been observed. But the hunt is far from over, and 10 professional groups, including NASA, are searching the area for the potential superplanet. Even recently, NASA invited the public to take up their telescopes and assist in the search for our potentially new planetary neighbour, which they hope will be discovered in 2017. It's estimated that, if the statistics are correct, and after all, many planets are pinpointed solely in theory before being observed, then this Planet 9 could be up to 10 times the mass of Earth. But this mysterious Planet 9 isn't just causing objects in the Kuiper Belt to be manipulated, but could also be the reason for the slight tilt the Sun is reported to have. You see, for quite a while now, we have known that almost everything in the solar system rotates around the same plane, except for the Sun, which is around 6 degrees out of alignment. But here is where things get confusing. It's thought the Sun isn't actually 6 degrees out, but in fact the entire disk of the solar system, thus making it seem that the Sun is out. We can't be certain, but with the possible presence of the larger Planet 9, this could be the reason for this imbalance. But how likely is this to be the case? Until Planet 9 is fully discovered, we are probably not going to know. But what this does mean, is that since such a giant planet could exist in our solar system, that has been hidden until these relatively new findings, then this strengthens the probability that life is out there, 
and that our solar system, let alone the universe, is just too vast for us ever to find out. The famous saying sums it up, it's like getting a cup of seawater and saying because there is no life in the water, then life does not exist in the entire ocean. Trez 2b Dubbed the darkest planet and nightmare world, it's safe to say that Trez 2b is one of the scariest planets that we have discovered in the universe. This is because it reflects next to no light, making it blacker than coal. Being of a similar size to Jupiter, around 11 times bigger than Earth, Trez 2b caused a stir upon its discovery in 2011, as despite existing alongside a huge star, the gas-based planet somehow reflects less than 1% of the light that reaches it, causing it to currently hold the title of the darkest planet in space. But how is this possible? While there are theories to explain the planet's constant darkness, one theory states its atmosphere may be unable to create reflective clouds that make other planets such as Jupiter so bright. Another theory suggests there exists in the atmosphere of Trez 2b many light-absorbing chemicals such as vaporized sodium, potassium, or gaseous titanium oxide that simply eat all of the light reflected by the planet before it can be seen in further space. Whatever the reason behind Trez 2b's perpetual night, with surface temperatures that can reach a scorching 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, Trez 2b may very well be the closest thing to hell one could imagine. Kepler 10b When Kepler 10b was discovered in 2011, it caused a storm in the scientific community. Firstly, the planet was very similar to our own in terms of its size, but more importantly, Kepler 10b's existence proves that other terrestrial planets exist outside of our own solar system. It's roughly 1.5 times the size of Earth, though due to the fact that it orbits so close to its star, Kepler 10, the temperature of the planet can reach 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to reduce its surface to molten lava, sadly ruling out Kepler as a potential life-bearing planet, at least for any organism we know of. However, just because Kepler 10b cannot support life itself, this has not deterred scientists and extraterrestrial believers alike to dismiss it. Its very existence proves that other planets do exist beyond our own section of the universe, which opens the door to innumerable possibilities, and Kepler 10b could share its quadrant with life-bearing planets inhabited by species unlike anything we've seen before. When it was discovered, it was described as one of the most important scientific discoveries ever made, and it certainly rewrites history books, which for the universe and all its mind-blowing discoveries is being rewritten almost daily. Planet Earth Planet Earth is without a shadow of a doubt the most interesting and mysterious planet in the entire universe, and for one single reason. Earth is the only planet unequivocally confirmed to have life on it, and not just one or two species, but billions of different forms that have shared this amazing planet. The ground that you stand upon daily was once walked by herds of gigantic dinosaurs and our distant ancestors. Our planet is home to the most diverse and stunning array of species and environments anywhere in the galaxy. From the depth of our oceans to the centres of our cities, every single inch of our world is teeming with life. When given the vastness of the observable universe, which is filled with more planets than you could ever put a number to, many of which dwarf us in size, innumerable asteroids that hurtle past us daily, stars that burn so bright they spit out solar flares, Yet out of all of it, out of all the incredible phenomenon that exist in the observable universe, only one planet, as far as we know, has life. Just truly think about how insane that is. One must wonder whether that is religious beliefs or other beliefs. Where did all this come from? How is the air, the gravity, the sun, the atmospheric pressure so perfectly tuned to support all the species on Earth? I have a very special documentary I will be releasing in a few months about how everything on this planet seems to have its own place, and how if you take anything away, it all crumbles. It's going to be incredibly insightful and will make you realise, even if you already think about this, just how insane and significant this planet is. I've said it before and I'll say it again, even you watching this right now, in whatever we call and can define this state of consciousness and existence is, are the result of so many variables it's an absolute miracle you are alive. Add in the odds of Earth, out of all the vastness of the universe not only existing, but being able to support you as a human and everything you know, and mine and probably your brain will start to hurt. So there's five fascinating and mysterious planets in the observable universe, nowhere near scratching the surface of all the fascinating planets out there, but still a glimpse into a world of unknown possibilities. I hope you've enjoyed, thanks for watching, 
and I'll see you in the next video.